Parishion. And in this lane against Shadow Fiend, the changes to SF. I didn't realize it would be this bad. Exist now. Sentry's down there. He's going to get ripped apart. Another kill for VP as Exist has nowhere to run. Creation onto Weeha, then you dive across with the boy and get your supernova down. There are no heroes that can stop you. Yol doesn't even need to initiate, so Jotun, lining up. He's ready to aim. Fish are going to land first. Earth Spike to follow. They don't even need Supernova. Sadoi might just dive across and Supernova now just to catch out some supports or CPs in because Exist is here. Supernova gets used. Exist, lowered attack speed. Can't turn around for the kill. Can't finish off that egg. Matt is level 6, but he's gone for a 3 3 0 0 as a skill build because Epicenter isn't that useful this early on into the game. Brewmaster once again gets picked off at top lane. Radiant's the Blink making attack. its initial reveal as BZZ goes for the Blink call and a death by Shadow Fiend. As we look back down to bot lane, Mad ring around the Rosie with the attack. Phoenix just diving across. Exist might be able to find a kill here. There's no more supernova and no more dive. Mad with the Sap Storm. We'll find Good the last hit. But that's the first kill of the game now. The amount of times that in recent times we've seen Yule's Blink, Yule's BKB, Radiance or Mech BKB. Attack. You know, a, a combination of one of those. Oh boy. Oh boy, fly. One hit, one raise. <laughs> Pretty much all it took to take down that poor old ancient apparition is Yule finds Miha. Jukes into the trees now. The Fissure does land, but there's, uh, there is a Finger of Death in fact. They could have turned that back around onto Wee Heart Exist. Going for the chase, but the Sniper culling bladed down by BZZ on the axe. Exist with a DD. Mel Strike with two more clicks. Will not finish off BZZ as Yol comes in with a Finger of Death. Honey, Primal Split is available. Mana being drained. They get the kill. Not quite fast enough. Yol. Uh, BZZ, in fact. Trying to go for the big plays, but gets turned around on by Mad's uh, Boris Strike. And now the problem split, trying to do as much work as it can. Focusing down on killing the lion, but one race from G takes down Magicka. Sanking. Even in your Sandstorm, you've got no route of escape here. There's no further stun from the Earth Shaker of the Lion, so they can't lock down the Brewmaster as he retreats to try and find pickoffs here. If VP overextend themselves and get caught out, like if BZZ gets stunned up before he gets the blink call on someone, then they can find fights. But G, G with a shadow blade, walking in, scouting out where the blue master is, the blink call, they found Hani. Exist is hidden, melted up there, but great stun from Johnson. Locking in Hani, blue master with no way to go, Sunoi. Diving in behind the tier 1 tower there. Supernova will actually get launched as BZZ blinks in and calls onto the sniper. Great kill there. Now Culling Blade taking down the AA. Ultra kill for BZZ on his axe. He has mana for one more. Rampage BZZ. Axe finding the plays. Great Berserker's call to start things off. And one after the other. Me fight a bot lane kicked off. VP have to overextend massively. They might do now. They're heading into the jungle. The epicenter and Boris strike onto Yol. They find one kill. Promise split has been used. They're chasing down Jotun, but he's duking through the trees. Boulder Toss gets thrown out into the Earthshaker. He can't turn around here. Are there any more stuns? There's another Boris strike. He can't TP out. Okay. Me punch. They expend three ultimates there. Assassinate for... You know, it's not a long call out. They don't really... They've, uh, if they've been overzealous in tanking Rome. Look at these ones for VP. Shrapnel gets thrown down, just slowing people. Triple shrapnel there onto them. Yol though. Forward the hex. Jotham. Fishes down. Exist should have a pretty free reign out here. Oh, the epicenter blink. Mad fighting a double borrow strike there as they get three. Shadow Fiend gonna respawn in one second's time. Supernova is laying down now. The echo slam from Jotham. Catching Exist. Sentry Water spot him out. Supernova catches Hani. Just as he comes back from the primal split. G doesn't have a blink though. Closing the gap on Hani is pretty difficult on Sadoi. The aggressive die. Turning around exists with the Mel's Strike. Can they get enough damage down onto the Phoenix? Doesn't look like he can. Two clicks from G takes Dyer's down Exist. Hani goes forward with a clap. And BZZ finds the Berserk's call onto Hani. Sam King does have Epicenter, but he can't blink forward. Burrow Strike onto BZZ. Axe does take a lot of damage, but G with a triple kill. Requiem and raises. Rampaging through Meepone. Dyer gets the tower tier 1 tower, not G. Unfortunately, couldn't get the right click in there, but Meepone are being torn apart of the seams here by VP. 
as they exist. A blink from Yol. The circus call catches that exist as he is torn a new one by the Fisher landing from uh, from the Earthshaker. I'd, I'd, I'd even say you want to keep the Hex to later. They get the Berserker Skull first. Now the Stun Lock. Harney, Culling Blade gonna miss the threshold, but still, Godlike Spring for G. The damage just was too much. As Harney overstepping his boundaries there, trying to farm a little bit too far outside of the safety of his base. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Fifteen thousand net worth leading by the amount of damage that, uh, that it previously would when he was on mid lane. Yol, four staff blink, looking looking to play aggressively here. They don't know Mad is hiding in the tree, or do they? Do they know? Mad is going to channel up have a center blink forward, catches G off guard. G is down for the count. Ice blast landing on his head as TA finds that final last hit. Mad now dropped down by the Phoenix and his big old supernova. Can they find? Can they find anything further? Exist on him. Still waiting to see what item choice he goes for. Four staff, I feel like that's the way to go. Because 28 minutes in, you don't have Midas to try and pump yourself towards the agonims and keep your gold income going. Top, BZZ. Berserk School's not gonna land. Mad does have uh, Bronze Strike. Nope. I was gonna say he has it in about 20 mana, but he uses Sandstorm. <laughs> he's, he's wasting the time here, BP. Oh, so he gets the last hit in there as he is. 1200 away from the blink. DD chance here, not actually attack. getting any, anything from it. If you're waiting for that perfect jump, VP are not going to give it to you. In fact, VP smoked up, they're ready to actually try and initiate themselves. Fish it down, not going to land. Lincoln forward, BZZ found the sniper, they close the gap. Culling Blade takes him out, buyback now from Weehar. The promise split is in the middle of the fight. Cycle it up with Shadow Fiend, that's the best option there. As Assassinate lands on Sadoi. They've got enough right click here, possibly. Nope. Brewmaster split doesn't do jack shit. Supernova lands. Doesn't do any damage or stun, but still. Sadoi, epicenter, ice blast, does catch two. Magica with the plays. Fly. Doesn't manage to catch the big heroes, though. As G and BZZ just turn around and say, well, you got our support. So what? BZZ finally does go down to snipe his assassinate. G will respawn. Can he make his escape? Rage Sentry and Dust both used here. G, no BKB. Mad, blink, Forest Strike, they catch him. They've got the Sandstorm as well. Four Staff, great play there by Yol, but Hani getting ready to try and turn things around. Requiem not available. G with the damage. Finds the kill down onto, onto Hani. Uh, but he's still going to die. Mad nearly loses his life there in return. Great defense, though. Epicenter Ice Blast, almost perfectly on mark. If, the, if it had been a little bit shorter and caught this area here, that would have been spot on. Fortified. So the look for the trade. Glyph used on the Dyer's tier one. Roshan is dead. TPs? Looks like they do. Magica, four staff, forward, and gets called by the axe. It looks like Mad is just down for the count. Culling Blade not going to be enough because he did just before the threshold. But now Hani. Battle Hunger and called again. Jotam has Enchant Totem and Agro Slam if they really need it, but with a Sunray, Sodoi double kill. Has to just go and bait things out. It, it's as though Exist is like the explosive sheep. He runs in and he dies. But that at least gives the Brew sanking an AA to uh, launch target. Oh, Exist. Flank forward for BZZ. The Berserkers call onto one Exist. Finger of Death. Will it take him down? BKB. One more hit. Cutting Blade, in fact. Finishes off the TA. Mad still has that percenter. Can he find the play though? Because everybody's dying. Magica does find the decent first strike on the Sadoi, but he's going to try and bail now. There's no actual continuation of this team fight as G finds Weeha. No buyback for you. VP on a dominating streak here. Ripping through Meepon's base. Fortification is used. They've got to try one last time. They have to attempt to defend their base with Epicenter and Ice Blast. Otherwise, this game is just over. In fact, Weeha calls GG. Echo Slam just being thrown out there. Why the hell not? Mad with a big Epicenter. Killing, killing one. But good game has been called. So in the end, that series ends one and one. Epon did actually find game one earlier on this week, but VP coming out hard and strong, taking game two. Great performance all around, but most importantly, G on that Shadow Fiend. My God. Gotta watch that replay back. Destroying exist on that T1.